Mooer. Welcome back to Moo The Five Reasons. I am Matthew Oliver, your local Mooer. And today's five reasons is five reasons presentation is the key. Presentation is everywhere. Wherever we go, whatever we do, whatever we see, we're going to see some sort of presentation. If it's in a building, if it's on a walk, if it's in a massive, massive cinema, you know, the design, the presentation, it, it's always going to be there. Whatever we see, whatever we do, it's even in filmmaking, writing, you know, walking the dog is even some sort of presentation. It's so important and it's normally the first thing that we always see because our mind is set on that object or that person and if you have never seen that person before that's the first thing you're going to notice is the presentation how they present themselves it's not just the style and or what you're wearing it's also your personality facial expressions how you you know you you react how you you know talk to people that is all some sort of presentation you know and it's all very important in life you know and presentation is the key like why i've named it that reason you know presentation is the key to success even because it's a success of life and why and how we do use it it determinates what we do um like obviously it's in us and obviously it's important to for us to have a presentation. If it is like, you know, your first time going to an interview, you're going to dress to impress and like show that you care and show that you want it. Reason being why I'm in this outfit today, I know I'm a bit smarter than normal. I did went to see a, a potential bride today and I dressed to impress, just to present myself. You know, I'm not gonna go to that meeting dressed in like my, my baggies, my comfies. I'm gonna dress in a way that I would want to be, you know, taken seriously and I want the job and I know I can achieve it. So presentation is so, so important in terms of everything. And it was also really important in your wedding. It will determine your wedding from a different wedding. It will make it different. You know, the first thing everyone will see at your wedding is the presentation. That presentation will lead onto the organisation, will lead onto the design and the style. So presentation is normally the first thing. And it's very, very important you make sure you list the reasons why presentation is the key and how you can present your wedding differently to other people's weddings. Instead of reading a magazine or looking at design boards or looking at blog posts, you know, you want your wedding to be the perfect one. And like I've always said, your personality will shine through your wedding. And this is why I do these posts because I want people, brides and couples to see that you don't have to follow the media. You, it's about yourself. It's not about anyone else or your guests. Nothing. It's about you and your your husband or wife to be. That's what it's about. It's about love and it's about presentation. Okay. So the five reasons why presentation is the key. Number one reason is the first thing you see. So if it's your guests or if it's yourself, the first thing you're going to see at the wedding is the presentation. It's going to set aside. The rooms, the, the venue, the design of the decorations, the flowers, the photography, you know, it is going to be there. Even in the ceremony room, you know, overall, there'll be a presentation in the building and it will be the first thing everyone will see of the day. So, for instance, if it's at a old style, traditional, vintage house that has got a lot of history, a lot of character, a lot of past... When you walk through those doors, you're going to see the pit, the, you know, the, the pictures on the walls. You're going to see massive, you know, knights in shining armor, all that sort of stuff. So that's a presentation. That's a presentation of that building. And that's why you chose that building, because it's your style, your theme. So that's the first thing you're going to see is the presentation. Second reason, it's in yourself, presenting yourself. So when you're walking down that aisle or when you're waiting for your wife or your husband to walk down that aisle, you're going to be waiting at the table in your outfit. So it is presenting yourself. So you're going to be, in the bride sense of you, it is you're walking down the aisle, you're going to be in your dress, you're presenting yourself in that beautiful, gorgeous dress and that is the dress of your dreams that's why you chose that dress because it works very well and then as the groom's point of view you're going to be waiting at the table or the altar and you're presenting yourself there in your attire and how you react and how you act so you're presenting yourself and as a designer like myself I'm presenting myself 
in that design, overall design of the room of the wedding. So it works in every single step. Even the guests, they're presenting themselves. It may be something that they, you've asked them to wear. Your theme is black and white. You want them to have those colors in your wedding. So they're presenting themselves as well. So presenting yourself is really important at a wedding and it should always be looked upon and chose upon. Third reason, it is um, the power to shine. Okay, so it's very similar to presenting yourself, but it's also very, very different. The power to shine, you've been dreaming about this moment ever since you started organising it, or in some faith cases, you've been dreaming about it ever since you were a little child, girl or boy. You know, you've always had a wedding. You've always wanted a wedding, and a wedding is such an achievement. It is it's such a, you know, it's such a beautiful, fantastic opportunity. And... The power to shine is also not just because you might not have a planner, you might not have anyone helping you, or you might have some friends and family, but you've also created that wedding. So your, your power to shine on the overall wedding is a fantastic feeling. So it's your power to shine as what you're wearing, as your ability, and as your creation of the wedding day, if you're going down that road. So that's the third reason. Fourth reason, it brings your wedding together. The presentation will bring everything together. So if it is, you know, your ceremony to the drinks reception, to the photography, to the reception, um, you know, the wedding breakfast, to the disco or to the entertainment time, to when everyone goes home, it is, you know, it brings the wedding together. The presentation brings everything together. It's obviously going to be very, very similar all the way through in your sort of theme or the style of what you want, your personality, but it will bring everything overall together. And that's the fourth reason. The fifth reason it is it's such a lovely fantastic atmosphere because presentation will overrule it and the atmosphere in the rooms because everyone's going to be presenting themselves at a wedding like I said before. The room is presenting itself. The, the catering, the staff at that venue or if you have got staff they're presenting themselves because they're the ones offering the service. You know, the flowers are presenting themselves, the photographer's presenting himself, you're presenting yourself. So the atmosphere is absolutely beautiful, it's absolutely fantastic, it's gorgeous in fact. So they're the five reasons why presentation is the key and presentation is the key to success in fact as well. And that if you follow those rules, they're always going to be around anyway, but if you notice them and you know they're there, then you're going to, it's going to be easier for you to have everything organised in the setup of the wedding and the creation of it itself. So if you make sure you follow those ideas and the ideas why presentation is the key, then it's going to be perfect for you. The atmosphere is going to even be better. So I hope you um, enjoyed this post and I hope it helps you in creating your wedding. And I am Matthew Oliver, the local mirror, and I bid you farewell, everyone. I love you all and I hope you enjoy everything that I'm creating. Don't forget to like, share, follow, subscribe, you might even get something fabulous if you subscribe. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Anyway, love you all and have a fantastic day. And don't forget to present yourself. It's very, very important. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Ta-ta.